good morning, everyone. How you doing? Dom Cassio, Pond Pro Fishing Midwest. So this video, we basically did a review on the Big Bite Bait Craw Tube. Yeah, uh, give you a little gander. There's gonna be a picture of it anyways in the video, but it's uh, this is the Okeechobee Craw color right here. Um, it's a good looking bait. A lot of action. It's a bigger tube, about four inches. I, I love it. It's cool, you know, I mean, in the video, I don't catch hogs with it, um, but definitely catch fish with it, you know, I, for the new fishermen, hogs and big fish, I feel you have to be kind of in the right spot at the right time. Um, there can be big fish where you're fishing, but those bigger fish are going to hang out in, in different areas. Bigger fish tend to like just kind of plant. They don't really like to move and be as courageous as like those one and two pounders you might catch all the time, just one right after another. The big fish, the four pounders, five pounders, you know, those are the fish that just kind of like to stay put on cover um, and stuff like that. So I didn't really fish this bait um, in a body of water where there was a lot of cover. I, I felt like the grass patches and stuff like that on the bottom. But how I fished this bait was on a Texas rig um, style. So I fished it on a four odd hook with a uh, eighth ounce uh, bullet weight on top because I wanted the slower fall. The the lighter the weight you use on the Texas rig, um, it's going to give it more of a slower fall opposed to like if I was using a half ounce or three quarter ounce weight, bullet weight, that thing's going to just, you know, rock it down. Every time I work it, it's going to be a boom, boom with the eight ounce. It's kind of like you could bob it, you know, pull up on it and it goes up and it slow falls down. So that's what I want in a bait um, is that slow fall, especially with so many appendages that this bait has and that slow fall just kind of works. You know, all those appendages start kind of moving around a little more radically. So if I was to use this again, I'd probably use it on a uh, Tokyo. So check out the video. Hope you guys like it. Next review is probably going to be the uh, King Daddy Spro Frog. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Later.